So it is like a couple days later at this point. I wanted to update y'all on the LCO moisturizing method for my locks. I really liked it. That's the update. I'll try to do like a more in-depth update soon, but I'm not going to do that today because this is a vlog and, oh, not this side. I just picked up my HelloFresh box. It's a little beat up, but it's okay. Um, I got my box from my grandma's house. I just got off work not too long ago and I wanted to wait to open the box up with y'all because I forgot what I ordered so I'm not really sure what's in here exactly. And by the way, I canceled my box subscription because they've been playing with me lately as far as like I try to skip a week and then they actually won't skip it and they'll tell me that I didn't actually click the button to skip and I know that I did. so. I just say, you know what? I'm just go ahead and cancel my subscription and I'll just order whenever I'm ready. But right off the bat, we have all of the recipes that I'm gonna be making this week. And they look pretty good. We've got a Middle Eastern chickpea bowl, which looks really good. Southwest stuffed green peppers. 
Silky Sicilian Penne and One Pan Rajas Quesadillas. So this seems like a pretty solid box, honestly. My camera is actually about to die like any second now. So hopefully it doesn't die while I'm trying to put this stuff up. No room in our refrigerator. We need to figure out how to like organize it. So if y'all have any kind of organization tips for the fridge, I would appreciate it because I really do want to organize this. It's a hot mess. But an update that I didn't show y'all is that we finally got our freaking stove, y'all. Y'all know how we didn't have a stove and the stove was just sitting in the middle of the floor for like two months. This is the one we've been waiting on. It is a Z-Line. I don't really know um, if that's a really good brand or not, but the stove is beautiful. I think for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make the chickpea thing, the um, Middle Eastern chickpea bowls. Cause I think this is gonna be good for me to take tomorrow for work, for my lunch. I've been trying to cook a lot more lately, y'all. One, uh, one reason is because I'm trying to lose weight. And the other reason is because, um, also, you know, to save money so I won't have to go to the drive-thru every day. But also because when I have lunch for work the next day, the day just goes by so much smoother for some reason. So I'm gonna make this one for tonight. And I'm gonna try to follow all the instructions. And this seems like it shouldn't take too long, 40 minutes. I'll come back and update y'all and let you know how it's coming out. Alright, so I have my chickpeas all rinsed and everything and then I have some of my vegetables and the lemon chopped up after looking at the recipe I probably won't I probably won't even use the lemon because I don't really like stuff that has like lemon zest in it it just doesn't to me it doesn't really add much so I'm probably not gonna use the lemon but I got everything else chopped up the good thing or the cool thing about this recipe is that we get to use the oven y'all so I get to show y'all how the little piece of my onion that I tried to chop up but we get to use the oven so I'm gonna show y'all the new oven what I don't like about it though you're about to find out just wait it's super loud for some reason um, I think I put it on high bake but can y'all hear that noise it's so loud I guess the good thing is that you would technically never forget that the oven is on because it's like loud and like blowing air I can feel it the air that it's blowing off on me but I don't really care that it's like super loud so like when we host like breakfast and stuff over here and we have like my family over and the oven is just like making this loud noise in the background it's a little awkward but it works better than the oven that we used to have so now that I have that all chopped up let me see what's next have to roast the vegetables Do we even have a pan? I know for sure that we do have a baking sheet, but I don't know where it is. I don't know where it could be. It's not in here. I don't know where that baking sheet is, so I think instead what I'm gonna use, we have this thing, it's like a cast iron flat thing that I think I can use instead maybe
Okay, I wanted to update y'all on the cooking process. I am struggling. <laughs> Look at my hands. So I was able to put the rice on that we needed. That's just simmering. Hopefully it cooks right. It looks like it's cooking really, really fast. I added the proper amount of water in there that it said, but that's real quick. I literally just put the cap on and put it on low for it to simmer a couple seconds ago. It looks a little dry at the top because I just added in like extra seasoning, but I didn't want to stir it because I don't think you're supposed to stir rice when you cook it. And then I just went ahead and added this in there with just parchment paper and not the this thing. Just because I just felt like maybe I don't really need that. So, yeah. That's what's going on. Um, we'll see how this ends up turning out. I'm about to make the sauce real quick. We'll see how that comes out. Alright, so for the sauce, I just have to mix together the sour cream, add some water, and the remaining garlic that I had uh, minced right here. Dang, that's really easy. I thought that it was going to be harder than that. Now I just feel like a fool showing y'all how I just mixed together sour cream and water, basically. But that's kind of what's good about HelloFresh. Most of these meals are super easy to make. So if you're a beginner at cooking like how I am, it really does a good job of like breaking down all the steps and stuff for you so that you won't be struggling that hard. I have a problem with following directions anyway, so that's why it's a little bit harder for me sometimes. But I'll be trying. Whenever I cook, I don't know about y'all, but I cannot just put tap water in my food. I always have to like use this. This is just a jug of water that I get from HEB. It's like the spring water. And I use this, typically. And I'm definitely going to be adding some more seasoning in this. I know it doesn't call for it, but this is looking a little too bland. So I'm going to add my own seasonings to it. Because you got to have the pepper. I'm going to have a little bit of onion powder. Just because, just a little dash. I'm also going to add a little salt in there and this might be okay. Okay, I think I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic powder and it should be fine. Now all we do is wait. I took the rice off of the fire just because. It looked like it was done, and I'm glad that I did because it looked like it was trying to burn at the bottom. But the rice is good and it's cooked. It didn't take as long as I thought. And the vegetables and the chickpeas are still going. It looks like they should be done soon. They kind of smell done. Alright, so now we're just waiting on the vegetables to get done, and then I can assemble the bowls. But while that's cooking, or while that's finishing cooking, I want to show y'all the newest addition to the family. So we have to come outside for this surprise. So I started a garden like last year and I still haven't even planted the stuff that I want to grow this year, but I do want to show y'all this. I got two fruit trees y'all this one is a peach tree and then this one is also a peach tree so oh it's all knocked over this is another tree that I got so I got two peach trees that I'm gonna be planting this year and then I also got two pear trees that I'm gonna be planting Really excited about that. Oh, and then I also went to Home Depot this past weekend and I picked up these really pretty flowers that I wanna plant for this coming weekend, if I get the chance. Okay, the dinner was a 10 out of 10, y'all. That was such a good bowl. And I just wanted to show y'all real quick what I threw together for my dessert. 
So I have a cookie, a sugar cookie at the bottom. I have put a layer of ice cream on top of that and sprinkles and whipped cream. Then I put another cookie and then another layer of ice cream and whipped cream and sprinkles on it. So it's kind of like a, I'm sorry y'all, I'm talking so fast I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little three layer sandwich type of thing, ice cream cookie sandwich and it's really good. So it is a little bit later in the night at this point. It's like almost 10 o'clock at night and I've been spending the past hour or so working on my Bible study presentation that I'm going to have to give on Friday, which I'm extremely nervous about. But my prompt is basically about um, how being kind and gentle is a part of or a huge component of the kingdom of heaven so i'm making like a powerpoint presentation for it and i'm really really nervous this is like my little card with my prompt on it so i went through and all the blue tabs are like what i'm referencing in my um presentation i'll let y'all know how it goes i'm extremely nervous y'all We'll see, but I need to start on my night routine. So before I hop in the shower, I like to take my makeup off using one of my little cotton round things that I get from Target. And I also like to use this little thing that my friend put me on like last year or yeah, last year. It's a witch hazel. Conditions pores and gently removes dirt, oil, and makeup. So this is what it looks like and i just put a little bit on my little cotton round right here and just take my makeup on and i like to do this because i do go in and like i cleanse my face while i'm in the shower but i still like to do this first because i feel like my face doesn't get as clean as like it can be if i don't do this first so I like to take the extra step to do this so that I can make sure that I'm removing all of my makeup, especially my eye makeup because that mascara and eyeliner and stuff that I use don't really come off that easily. I've been doing my makeup differently. I added a couple things to my routine and I also took away some things. So I can still do my makeup in like, instead of 5 minutes, it probably takes me about 10 minutes now at this point. I don't know why I felt the need to share that right now. But anyways, I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower. Don't mind my bra hanging right there. <laughs> um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog off right here. My shower water is running. I'm letting it get steaming hot. I'll talk to y'all in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching this one. And I'm out.